Well, hello there, boys and girls. It's Wayne Robson with the review that you've probably been waiting for of the AMD Fire Pro W9132 gigabyte card worth about three and a half thousand pound. Now it should come as no goddamn surprise whatsoever um, that I can set the viewport on its highest setting, right? That's that's a given. Because if, if that wasn't the case, I would be very very annoyed um, given the price of this card. Now, I've set this, the engine type to Opel CL, so, because obviously it's not a CUDA card, it's not an NVIDIA card, it's an AMD card. Um, the one thing I, I would mention is that the first time you run it, uh, the, if the, log, the log screen will pop up and say that it's basically building some stuff internally, it takes about 8 to 10 seconds, and after that, it never has to be done ever again. All right, uh, and that's it. So personally, what I'd do is set up a scene with a teapot in it and a light, and then render that, get it all out of the way, and sort it. Simple as that. So, uh, I've got it set in active shade mode. Uh, it will pop up on the other screen, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But it'll sh they, literally, from when I hit this, you will see how fast this pops up. It's basically. Dum, dum. <laughs> it is absolutely insane. It really is. That's the full city. Uh, if I go to camera two, uh, boom, da -da -da. <laughs> and it, it denoises it incredibly fast. It is silly, stupid fast. It's that fast. Uh, if I go, if you, we'll change some cameras again. Check camera three, boing. And it, it's like you can change it fairly, uh, fairly fast. Camera four, boom. You can go to camera five, which is like that. We. We have render camera. It's yeah, it's just it's absolutely bloody insane. It really is. And then of course there's the dome camera. Boom. Look, it's like this is yeah. It is absolutely insane. The only thing I have noticed um with this, which I'm not sure what the cause is, if I re try and resize this frame buffer, it crashes the whole of Max. Right, I'm mentioning that straight out the gate. I have no idea what the cause of it is, but I will investigate. Um, it could be something as simple as a, a you know, as V-Ray basically having a problem. It, you know, or it could be an AMD problem. It could be a Max problem. I don't know. Somebody somewhere has got a problem, but I'd really, you know, gonna have to look at that a bit more. So it's not matching what I'm seeing the viewport by any stretch of the imagination. What I do want to do with this is change the, I know there's a light in here that's um, not very good. This one at the back is a light down here. In fact, if I just stick this over here, we don't need to um, see the geometry at the moment. I want to pair off a lot of these lights, right? So we'll get rid of all these things up with it. That one's there. Get rid of these ones here. See what's left. In fact, we can actually probably pair down to. We'll get rid of some of these ones in the middle. Get these ones at the top up here. And that should help. So we've got that there. And now we've got a bit of a darker scene, right? So we've got just light at the back. So yeah, it's fairly fast. Let's try something else. Yep, it's the explosion. Um, let's see how fast this updates. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's updating at the, you know, crazy speeds. It's, compare it with the uh, day two video um, on the WX. Uh, some, uh, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. It really is. Um, <laughs> it, I'm, I'm actually lost for words on a lot of this. You know what I mean? Uh, I really am. Uh, if I take this, let's just okay. Let, let's let's try and just make this a bit smaller. So we'll have a point one cell size, which is even more detailed now. So um, now I'm pretty sure the RT doesn't work with Phoenix. Um, I don't know. That's actually a really good question. I should look at the things. I just looked at the documentation, but I haven't, so let's just see if it works anyway. Um, boom, ba-dum, boom, boom, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, till we get some feedback. It's pre filtered done. Oh, there we go, it's doing stuff, loading that, blah, 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 blah. At the moment, it's seeing rendering, but there's nothing there, right? So it's not doing anything there. So let's we'll just use a normal V-Ray. It should, we won't give it a lot of speed up, uh, I don't think. On this. Yeah, so it basically does a couple of passes. Like that. Low res, high res. As you can see, it's it's fairly fast. Um, I think what I'll do in a second is I'm going to pause this when it finishes and I'm going to start Maya up. Let's see how Maya handles things. Let's do, let's finish it. Yeah, there you go. Big fiery boom thing, right? Okay, here's some stuff with uh, V-Ray. We we'll just want to see how big. Ding, 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 ding. See what happens. Oh, it's over here. Of course it is. It's on the other monitor. Everything always appears on the other monitor. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it goes through, does a couple of passes on things, and yeah, it's basically a bit dark because some of the maps are missing. But as you can see, the stuff where there is maps for it, um, it's refreshing pretty damn fast. Now, that's, you know, using V-Ray at the moment. Let me pause this and find another scene that might be a bit better. So, inward box, it's like, yeah, it's crazy in the hundreds FPS. You know, it's. I'm pretty sure the, the, the capture software won't be capt capturing exactly how fast it's moving, but if you look in the bottom corner, there's numbers flickering around like a bloody fruit machine. Right, so we know that it's doing stuff. Um, if I quickly just take it on that one, because the other one is actually just a normal cube. So I'd like to see, see that in there somewhere. Right, from here to there. We don't need that anyway. So I will delete it. Delete this one here. So there we are. Right. So uh, bear in mind that uh, my wagon is to one side here. But what I'm going to try and do for you is, if I, I might not, you may do it without the wagon, right? I'm just going to do it with a, just with a pen and see what the paint tools are like. Uh, ones that were always a bit of a pain in the arse. But let's go an 8K texture because it can handle it, right? Yep, fast as all sweet Jesus, right? In fact, um, it's quite scary <laughs> how, <laughs> how fast that is. Um, now, at the moment, you know, there's not a lot I can basically do with this as it is, but like, yeah, yes, I know the stamp's not there, just get over it, honestly. So I've got a colour here, I'm going to put it, I don't know, let's bring this over where you can see it. We give it blue and I'll just, you know, you can see, I hope you can see the feedback is absolutely astronomical. Um, in fact, let's just, if I do that and then I take this paintbrush and use the eyedropper, right, which is also usually slow. Um, I'm going to take projection, I'm going to pause it a second while I find the name. Right, so uh, let's first of all. Just erase all of all this stuff, you know. It's, I'm amazed at how responsive this is. It's unbelievable. Uh, as some of you know, I've had some amazing systems for running Mudbox, which is more uh, intensive than, you know, the likes of ZBrush. However, <laughs> this is a whole different ball game. Um, so if I bring this up and we'll just use this crazy texture of mine, we'll get a really big brush size because that usually gives it an absolute heart attack. It's yeah, it's yeah. It's the bottom line is that this is you know absolutely bloody crazy. So let's try the contrast brush because that's also another thing that's uh, quite process intensive. Um, hue shift. Let's try that. Yeah, that's working. Invert. That's working. We can do burn. We can dodge. You know, it's, yeah, there's invert. It's, yeah, basically, it's, 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 I'm at a loss for words how fast this card is. Um, I'm not going to take any further today 
because one, I need to find ways to torture this bloody thing. Um, and the second one, it, I just need to process exactly what this card's capable of. Um, the feedback from it is astronomical. You know, it's it's really, yeah. I'm I'm just lost for words. Um, and I need to find things now for the sort of like for the midweek video review video and you know the, the end one. It's it's making me rethink a lot of things. Uh, as a freelancer, usually the, you know there's a limit on you know what the size of your rig sometimes dictates what projects you can take on. Um, with a card like this, suddenly I'm rethinking that and thinking, well, actually, I can now take on projects that are crazy big. So anyway, uh, that's my review. It's technically day, it's day one, but it was installed yesterday, but I spent about 10 minutes messing around. Uh, so this is the first proper day of just doing a few things. Um, and I'll let you know how I get on. Bye-bye.